to it. Thanks happening now. Authorities are on the scene of a crash in Winston Salem. This is the intersection of Old Blues Creek Road and Beasendary Road. That's off of Reedsville Road. We're told the call came in just before 10 o'clock this evening. There are injuries right now. We're waiting for details on how many people were hurt and the extent of those injuries. New tonight, firefighters in Randolph County were on the scene of a fire at an apartment complex. This was at the Park Place Apartments on South Church Street in Ashboro. The call came in around 4 o'clock this afternoon. We're still working to get some details on what exactly caused that fire and if anybody was hurt or not. Tonight, three people face charges in connection to a shooting in Greensboro that left one person dead. Police arrested Dwayne Richardson, Charles Richardson Jr., and Sadie Damon on Friday. Richardson and Richardson Jr. are charged with first-degree murder. Damon is charged with accessory after the fact. The shooting happened Thursday afternoon on East Market Street. 22-year-old Miles Barnes was wounded and then eventually died of his injuries yesterday. Well, a man is in custody in connection to a hit and run that left two people hurt in Greensboro. Christopher Whitset faces numerous charges tonight. He's being held in the Guilford County Jail. His bail is set at $65,000. The hit and run happened early Saturday morning on Burlington Road, and police say officers saw a dark colored sedan driving through the area, hitting two people on the road. Police were able to stop the vehicle and detain that driver. They say the victim's injuries were non life threatening. We turn now to the latest on the coronavirus. Another huge jump in the number of confirmed cases in our state, more than 1,300 exactly. So far, almost 73,000 cases have been confirmed in North Carolina, and almost 1,400 people have died from the virus. Right now, at least 949 people are in North Carolina hospitals with COVID-19. That's with 78% of hospitals reporting less than yesterday. Here in our area, more than 400 new cases have been reported, bringing the total number of cases to almost 13,000. No new deaths have been reported in the triad. The percentage of positive COVID-19 tests statewide stands at 9%. We've heard experts say over again they want that number to be around 5%.